Hello, my esteemed guests. My name is Mr. Laveau, and welcome to the soothing cove that is our gases. Today, we're playing Tri City Monsters. Um, girl, what happened last time? We got saved by the supermodel. What's your name, child? What's your name, Shell? <laughs> Let a brother know. Let's get started. You're not hurt, are you, darling? See, 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 you had me acting up. <laughs> You had me blushing towards the end of the, of the previous episode. <laughs> and look at him. He rapped too. Damn. I look up numbly and need a second to take everything in. Me too. Everything. Mr. Supermodel is watching me carefully. Eyes sharp and surprisingly fierce as they quickly rake me up and down. Oh. My cash deposit, my money, my bills, unpaid. <laughs> it's all I can say. My brain screams at me to at least thank this stranger, but I just can't get out the get the words out. I'll never get that cash back. Cash deposit? They took cash from you? I nod numbly. Frankly, I feel like crying. I can feel heat prickling behind my eyes along with a Chaser? Chase, chaser of shame at having... Why well, I want to say chas chaser? I don't know. Chaser of shame at having an unwilling audience. <laughs> I was on my way to pay a deposit for my apartment and they took it and I'll never be able to get a thousand dollars in cash back even if I called the cops. He checks his phone for a second, then jingles his keys at me a little. Come on, I'll drive you to where you need to go and help you explain the situation. I'm sure there's an understanding that, uh, to be reached. Right, because first of all, you know the landlord doing something shifty as all hell for you to get jumped when you try to make this thousand dollar cash deposit. He just want a quick cash grab and to kick you out on the streets. Like, I, I, I stand by this being a setup. <laughs> I look at him blankly. Oh no, I couldn't. You've already done so much. Oh my God. I didn't even say thank you yet. I'm sorry. I'm just kind of scrambled from all of this. Thank you so much. You really showed up in a nick of time. In the nick of time. Um, he wastes me off carelessly. I just happen to be at the right place at the right time. Think nothing of it. <laughs> now get in, I insist. I hesitate for a second, but he clicks he clicks his key fob. I don't even know what a key fob is. Oh my gosh. And the I, I can guess what it is. And the passenger side door slowly swings open for me. I'm every episode I'm gonna be like just in Google's <laughs> looking up these words. Damn if that isn't a beautiful car though. I don't don't think I've ever written something this nice before. When you use like Uber and like, you start writing in Teslas and it's just like, the first one it was like, oh, maybe it has like a little, um, what's it called? The, 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 the open ceiling. I forgot what it's called, but it's like the, the ceiling is like clear, it's like glass and stuff like that. Like, it's just, it's just a nice car. You feel like you're not supposed to be in it, even if like you're literally paying them to drive you around. <laughs> please. Oh, please. Wait, where, where? Let me go back. I got distracted. I don't think I've written something that's this nice before. What was he say? What did I say? Not gonna assess. Oh, okay. Please? Is he asking? No, please. Where am I headed? I can get you there fast. I feel like something had to be said beforehand to get that kind of please. I don't know. Like, please as in still get in the car or I don't know. Reluctantly, I give in and climb into the passenger seat. As he moves back around the front of the car and takes the driver's seat. Okay, okay, okay. For some reason I thought he, he had like a driver. And after another prompt, I tell him the address of my superintendent's office. And we're all, this car is too nice. <laughs> I don't feel like I belong here. 
And holy shit, we're off. <laughs> the antics with the squealing tires before wasn't theatrics. Oh, okay. The antics with the squealing tires before wasn't wasn't theatrics. This man drives like a bat out of hell. Oh my gosh. I'm holding off a dear life as he peels around the corner so hard he fishtails while other cars honk honk an alarm. He fishtails? Like it waggles? <laughs> you got a wagon? <laughs> Your car got a wagon, fam? Uh, I've been on roller coasters with less aggressive launches. Oh, how rude of me. I never introduced myself. He says it so casually, like we're simply walking down the street. At this point, I'm afraid to look at the speed, uh, sp speedometer, speedometer, is that, is that how we say it, speedometer? I am a mere Nathiri, Nathiri, Nathiri? Corrects me down in the comments. <laughs> I bottle and do a lot of high-end entertainment. Okay. I'm Mr. Lavelle. Talking is a lot harder than normal as I watch the scenery blur past us at ludicrous speed and white knuckle the seat. Ooh, okay. But I managed to gather my words. Thanks, Amir. You really came to our rescue back there. I can't believe that, I can't believe that one, that one you confronted first. Wait, I can't believe that I can believe I can't believe that one you confronted first just ran away. Okay, I understand. <laughs> I can't believe that one you confronted first just ran away. Exactly when you told him to. Amir laughs casually. I can be intimidating if I try hard enough, I guess. I just learned to project a no-nonsense tone and demeanor in my line of work. Hmm. I try to smile at that, but the way he drives and the lingering crash of adrenaline paired with the rising sense of, sense of hopelessness dampens it. Woo! In no time, not surprising given how fast Amir drives, we screech into the parking lot of the superintendent's office. Are there no, like, speed or, like, traffic laws here? <laughs> I try to gather my thoughts and rehearse my words in my head. I'll beg him for an extension, but that's like coughing up a storm. He's a he I, he I. Um, I'll beg him for an extension, pull some of the money from what little savings I have left. To my surprise, Amir gets out, walks around the front of the car and opens my door before I have a chance to exit. Oh, a gentleman. <laughs> oh la la. Oh, sorry, you didn't have to. Amir only tuts at me, smirking just slightly. Don't be silly. I don't do anything I don't want to. Understandable. And he continues to smirk down at me as he brushes his long, dark braid back over his elegant shoulder. If that itch was animated, I'm like, 10 out of 10. I'm gonna go buy this damn game. <laughs> Still buy it. Still support the creator. All that good good. Uh, uh, Studio Peaches? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead at their Patreon. <laughs> Show some love. Um, I had expected him to simply drop me off here. He's already done more than enough for me after all. Nah, he's walking with you. Because he know that shit's shady. He know that shit's shady. But instead, he follows me up into the office. It's a shared professional space if pretty low end, but I recognize my superintendent at a desk near the back of the room. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> I take a breath and approach him uh, tentatively, but he looks up and notices me and a mirror before I can explain anything. Oh, Mr. Laveau, right on time, thank you. I'll go ahead and take that final deposit from you, and then your lease is secure for the next 12 months. Now remember, rent's due on the 6th of every month. I have a 5-day grace period policy, but if any emergencies pop up, give me a call and I can try and work something out with you. Good, he sounds reasonable, right? He sounds so reasonable right now, so if he could just follow up with that, with a little bit of, hey, I got mugged trying to, like, 
get this sneaky ass thousand dollars into your pocket instead of your bank account through direct deposit so that deposit ain't here <laughs> not here not on me not nowhere I stammer stupidly as he pulls out an envelope and opens it to put the cash inside. Finally, uh, dining? I gotta look that word up. Dining to look up at me expectantly. Because it's not denying, is it? Yes, yeah, dining. I'm so sorry. I know we had an agreement, but on the way here, Amir suddenly leans forward, stepping closer to the superintendent's desk, adjusting one of his many jeweled rings. Oh, oh, wait, what's about wait? <laughs> we're we're, not, we're no, no need, no need for violence just yet. Shoot. I'm so sorry to interrupt. What did you say the amount was? My mouth opens and closes again a few times in succession. Oh, it was a thousand, Mr. Oh, just a mere darling. Amir reaches into his tiny bolero and pulls out the fattest clip of money I have ever seen outside of a Saturday morning cartoon featuring bank robbers. Amir. <laughs> y'all, y'all better come get Amir. He paying my bills. All I need now is food. I'm still. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. If he cook me a meal. He, he buy me a meal, it's, it's over, it's over. And I read the red flags on all of these characters. Now, Mori might be fun, but Amir, <laughs> pay my bills, saving my life. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, if he offers food after this, after this incursion, then it's just, I'm locked in. <laughs> I'm locked in, Amir. <laughs> um. Amir definitely flips the corners down of several hundred dollar bills in rapid succession, counting out ten and pulling them from his jewel encrusted monogrammed money clip. I want wealth like this. <laughs> Which he then replaces neatly into his outfit as he extends one elegant hand to the superintendent. Here we are, all in order. Amir, no, you can't. Hush, darling. There's a moment of hesitation as the superintendent looks from the money to Amir, then to me, and then back to the money before he slowly takes it from Amir. It's a trap. <laughs> Cautiously, as though expecting the other shoe to drop, he places it in the envelopes. envelope, writes my name on the outside, and files it in his desk drawer. Now, with that all taken care of, I think we're good to go, yes? Of, yes, of course. Thank you for the timely payment. And Amir is already turning sharply on his heel and sashaying out. You, you better sashay. You better sashay. You, you know, Jazzy Girl, someone just sashay. That's like, okay. Reeling, I stumble after him, still trying to formulate a uh, protest. You can talk. I'd rather talk through it with Amir than with my per that my uh, landlord who could, like, evict me. You know what I mean? Like, sure, I just met this person, but... It's like the deadline for this money has now been extended to no longer have to deal with it, or you now just owe me a thou, you know, as long as there's no interest. Because there's gonna be interest I could have took out a loan, you know. Outside of the pave, outside outside on the pavement, I finally managed to scratch my catch my breath. <laughs> you didn't have to do that. Amir turns and looks. He just did. He just say that he doesn't do anything he doesn't want to. Come on now. Amir turns and looks at uh, looks me in the eyes steadily. That playful little smirk still quirking his lips. Darling, I told you I don't do anything I don't want to do. Right, right. We ended it right there. We ended it right there. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching again. Um, my name is Mr. Lavo, and this has been our guests. I'm here to stay on the bottom end, so I do whatever I please. Let me not cuss, okay? <laughs> but if you enjoyed this um, video, let me know about leaving a like, comment, sub, and share. If you enjoyed this game and like to play it for yourself, you can do so via the link in the pinned comment, along with the ability to support Studio Peaches, um, supporting me through Ko-Fi, their Patreon, my Ko-Fi. And I see, I keep saying Ko-Fi when it's coffee. It's coffee, y'all. And... 
also to join my Discord, where it's BIPOC LGBT inclusive. Um, we're nerds, we're blurs, we're game devs, we're voice actors, all that, all that. It's mainly just me. I can attest to that. We got everyday but members. Let's fill it up and let's be active, okay? Let's not let's not get active. Like calm down now. But like you know what I'm talking about. Um, I believe <laughs> that is all I have to say. So I'll see you guys in the next video.